It's neat and it's sweet, it's a ding-dong treat, knitting socks for little feet. I think Dennis gets it wrong. People see it the wrong way, I think. I think Dennis is much better than some people think it is. You know? Just sitting with your knitting all day long. You know, knitting's friendly and knitting's fun. Knitting's good for everyone. I've really become particularly fond of Dennis and the people couldn't be more friendly, they couldn't be more helpful uh, and through that I have now joined the knitting group. And that is why we sing this knitting song, it's knit one, pearl two. What's a dozer going to do with a gold damn ball of yarn? They kind of sort of know if there's something wrong with you when you're in, if you're sitting too quiet. They'll ask you, are you alright? Things like that, are you not feeling well? No, so you just open up and tell them whatever, you know. Stitch three, drop four. Pitch that knitting out the door. For myself personally, it is to get among uh, women who like the same thing as I do, is knitting, because there isn't a lot of knitters that nowadays, I don't think. And I was quite pleased when I met Jeanette in the knitting shop one day, and she said, there's a group on in the library. We do, we do live ourselves, so it's nice for one afternoon to go out and mix with other people, you know. So I think loneliness is a lot to do with the knitting group as well. It ups you up in that day, you know. Maybe he didn't have a telling. He had a 50 telling. Uh, and he put money in. Aye, aye. Well. So did I. It was six when we put in the bag. Uh, and then my ma would get skint and just read it. <laughs> <laughs> it helps me because now at my age I don't go out very much. So it gets me out and they're all nice people. And for by that we get our tea and a cake, <laughs> which is very enjoyable. You just knit into the stitch uh -huh. and do two stitches in the one stitch. Yeah. but. When you're decreasing, you don't knit two together. Right. You slip one, knit one, That's and pass the slip, slip stitch, stitch over. over. Mm -hmm. And that, I think, is what gives you the, right. the fancy yeah, edge. Mm -hmm. yeah. Plus the fact we can get a lot of things off our chest in a small group. Uh, and it's quite helpful at times. They're very supportive if you're anything wrong. Like that lady that's going in for a, an operation. And um, we've got flowers for her and all good wishes. and. She can talk about it to us when maybe she can't talk about it to family. It's a different atmosphere. A big white calcium. I take two a day. Two a day one in the morning, right. one at night. Yeah. I've never had any serious problems all the years I've lived in Denison, you know, so I think Denison does get the wrong, people get the wrong impression of Denison, I feel personally. <laughs> There's a green, there's a red, there's a knot in my thread. A knitter needs his noggin red. You don't come round and speak to me of yarn. You can knit all day and nothing fits. Because only knitwits like to knit. There was a referendum for a start and there was a the game. It's all in 2014. I thought it was amazing to see all the different people and all the different cultures. I have noticed quite an impact in the building of new houses and the refurbishment of the older properties and the clearing up. It was a good time for the games, it was a busy place at the time and everything. It didn't really make much difference to me, particularly. You know. I think it has made quite a difference to Denison. It looks a lot cleaner. Partly the, the route that the Commonwealth Games took, that some of the athletes um, came through Denison, uh, and that in itself was quite spectacular. The atmosphere was fantastic. To give me the kiss of life there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh we'll manage that. <laughs> as long as it wasn't that where was punching and banging in your chest. Can I give you a kiss? But no. Yeah. Well, on a personal level, actually, I didn't always vote when I should have, but I was determined to vote because of the referendum. Politics don't appeal to me in any way at all, you know, because I always feel that politicians, it's for their own benefit, not ours. I found it was very difficult to decide how to vote because I really was scared to vote yes and I was scared to vote no. For me it was it was powerful and that it made me go and vote. 
So I didn't make up my mind till the morning. I went to vote what I was actually going to do, you know. Uh, I think it was exciting, you know, and it would have changed Scotland altogether had we got a yes vote, you know. It brought home politics more to people that don't generally pay much attention to them and it made them think more deeply whether they wanted to stay Scottish or whether they become British. You find, I think, in Scotland, if people ask you, uh, if you're abroad, for instance, they say, uh, where do you come from? You don't say Britain, you say Scotland. Uh, and I think the referendum made more people think Scotland. Knitting needles just ain't worth a darn. Well, it's knit one, peril two. Stitch three, drop four, pitch that knitting out the door. I think it's most important that you do, or you could fall into sort of depression, because there is quite a lot of people that live their cell, it does get easily depressed. You know? So I think as long as you've got something like your knitting group, you'll not get that depression, you know, I think it's a great thing. I was only in here a few months when my sister died, and I got cards and everything from the ladies that I didn't even really know them at the time. I thought, how nice to be, you know, they feel for me that I've lost a sister, you know. And I thought it was lovely. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing is makes the knitting group, I think. They're very caring people when it comes to it, you know. You know, and I said, I can, I can even help you maybe a bit with it, you know, I said, um, but then I did a, an awful lot in it, and not so much now. The hands don't work. I don't know, I just think it's the way we were brought up. You know, we don't love and coddle each other, but we would help each other, we really do. Especially the knitting group. I mean, any time I've taken up well, they've came up with flowers and a card and everything, and that is true. So it's me, as I, so I've got the green for the grass, which, um, the dog's pooing. <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> White for the clouds, and it's also virginal, just like myself. <laughs> White and blue for the clouds, and the darker blue for the sea when it's a nice sunny day. <laughs> Purple. And the glitter for all that glitters in Deniston, and that includes me. <laughs> if I was chocolate, I'd eat myself. <laughs> Get what to see. Yeah, oh yes, yeah. yellow for the daffodils <laughs> that grows in the green green grass <laughs> of Denison. <laughs> I have a purple, <laughs> different shades of purple which puts, put me in mind of tartan. <laughs> I have pink to make the boys weak. <laughs> <laughs> and I have heather colours for rolling in it. <laughs> Rolling in the I would like to weave with Denison as the community spirit in Denison. I don't think it's shown enough in the area. There is a great community spirit if you can just see it, you know. So if you weave it, you can see it. So I think that'd be good.
quite right. There's absolutely no way to um, sit and that bit you're talking about in front of the post office, you know, that could be made into a lovely wee garden with nice seating areas and, you know, and it's a wee bit off the main road. And you think of the people that are older, that's living, and sometimes they need to stop for a little seat, but there's nothing to sit on. So either they end up sitting on maybe stairs. So there is definitely a place for seats in Denison, everywhere. Right up to election day, the referendum had been full of hope for me. But the 19th of September 2014 was vicious. Abuse, fighting in the street, folk ripped apart by their polar positions. We sat around, shell-shocked. All the zip, the vigour, disappeared. I phoned my dad. It didn't make me feel any better. Normally, I'm the positive, upbeat, naive one. He weighs in with years of experience and cynicism. But here he was, actually suggesting all the promises of the no camp would now be delivered. It felt really odd. I flatly said, I'll believe it when I see it. And then from somewhere, I don't know where, I said, we need to harness the amazing goodwill of the campaign but we can't take it to Westminster. If they weren't listening then, then they certainly won't listen now. I don't even think the Scottish Parliament is the place to take it. If you want change, you have to reach out to what you can touch. And that was the beginning of my project Local Girl, a one-woman effort to be more present to actually engage with the events, issues, neighbours, the place around about me. It's not about politics, but about people making change. That, to me, was the spirit of the referendum. A few years ago, the film Taggart, the bottom of the street, it was Alec Knott and, and Phyllis Logan were sitting on a table just outside Tebow. So I decided I wanted in on this and I walked up and down and in and out and up and down, up and down, in and out, paper, bottle, bottle of it, I am Then when I watched the film there was not a sign of me, <laughs> cut out completely. Anyway, that's life. 
But uh, I'm quite happy in my, in my mess. We, we know where everything is and we can find it. Well, that's the story anyway, I'm sticking to it. <laughs> when I came to this area, I was warned by various people that I should be very, very wary of opening up a shop in the East End uh, because you're going to get robbed at knife point and all the rest of it. It's absolutely true that when the media come to this area, they tend to look for uh, the worst aspects instead of the good aspects. And there are plenty of good, there are an awful lot of hardworking, honest, uh, very uh, genteel people live here. The New York uh, Museum of Antiquities come round here and took photographs of this shop as one of these lost cause businesses which I burst out laughing with but uh, he took photographs of it he said that uh, I'm going round shops like this that uh, won't be here in a few years time just to take photographs of them I said gee thanks very much nice to be a dinosaur these days have gone finished dead forever the whole changes that have been made to televisions mean that they're not repairable well I make my living out of repairing straighteners uh, and that's what me and if it wasn't for straighteners and things like vacuum cleaners and lamps and things like that I wouldn't be here big thing very big thing Glasgow was the only city really that uh, voted yes. I uh, I am a converted Tory to SNP, and I although I, there's one or two things that I didn't I don't agree with. Certainly, there's a few aspects I don't agree with. But I was all for yes, and I was very very disappointed when uh, when we didn't get independence. I personally was very very upset at that. Uh, my wife wasn't. She she uh, she was over the moon. But that's what that's what democracy is all about, isn't it? Uh, it meant a lot to Glasgow. But they worked very very hard in Glasgow. The Yes campaign, very very hard. I noticed that because the shop was just three doors along. In fact, I managed to salvage the the sign. It might be used again. <laughs> it might be used again. <laughs> but uh, maybe not in my. Uh, years but it, it may well I think it will eventually come. I met people in here that uh, were absolutely despondent and uh, one chap can put in particular who lived in one of these houses here I uh, was crying when Alex Salmon resigned he said he said we've lost the, mo the only honest the only honest politician there is and we've lost them and he was actually crying physically he was actually greeting. Uh, I wouldn't reach that stage, but he was, he was actually crying. So it did mean a lot to a lot of people. When I first arrived here, I wasn't very happy. Uh, I didn't like the place, I didn't like the area, I didn't really know the people. After having worked here for 10 years and dealing with the people, I like them. And uh, I would sum up what I was saying, they are a good bunch. Is she not in? Is she not in? Give, it, give the door a rattle. Give the, no, give the door a rattle. Is the door open? It's locked. She might, I didn't see her disappearing. These uh, stories could go on forever. <laughs> could go on forever. I have, uh, in actual fact, because I've been so long doing this this business, you have all sorts of experiences with people. I've actually rolled in the street with a customer as well. It was a very interesting one.
Hi, troops. Hi there. Right, um, how have you been today? Good. Okay? Okay? Good. Like, good. Keep on doing what you're doing. Anyway, how would you describe Denison in three words? Fun, energetic, and there's always something going on. What are you doing at the weekend? What am I doing at the weekend? This weekend. I'm just working this weekend. Hi, Bali. Hi, Hi there. I'm very well. I'm very well. You're looking very handsome. Hi, Hi, Hiya. Hi there. Hiya. <laughs> give, us, give us a smile and a wave, everybody. Woohoo! It's looking very nice. Come here. Come here. No! <laughs> Do you think my shop's looking good? I think your shop's looking very good. Fantastic. Well, it's certainly colourful, isn't it? So you've been getting your hair done, it's awful nice. Aye. It's lovely. I just went and got, got my hair done today. Aye. Because I can't get my arms round to, to wash it now with the shoulders being Aye. dislocated at different times. Jeez, oh. Oh, if I do different dislocations, plus that broken ankle. You <laughs> That's how I've got to walk with a limp, and if it's dry weather and there's no dampness, I can walk more sprightly. Oh, stranger, so how indeed. are you? Well, Take a bottle of that bunch, shall we? You're going to do yourself a bit? <laughs> <laughs> you're going to do yourself a good turn? <laughs> have you got any of these trumpets you brought in a wee? Oh, that's the rag... blow out and... Oh, that's the ragman's. The ragman are all finished no, now. No, no, the wee paper trumpets. Uh, shoot out and come back again. Oh, it used to be good when the old tenements were here and you moved up with all your old neighbours. And then it declined all the years, you know. Aye. Oh, well, I loved it. Why do you need a trumpet? To blow his in. <laughs> and as I jumped off the bus of this foot, it went like that and it snapped right at the front and I knew I was going to fall and I couldn't stop myself and I had shopping and everything and uh, here it took three guys to lift me up so they sat me in the bus shelter and this wee boy, now it just shows you shouldn't judge MD by their appearance cap on and look dead rough and uh, I'll phone the ambulance, missus. I went, right, son, thanks very much. And he phoned and he says, I'll just wait with you. I says, oh, I don't want to be keeping you back, pet. I said, do you stay far? He says, no, he says, I just stay in, I stay in steps. Well, steps, as you know, is a wee bit of weight. But do you know, that kid stayed with me until the ambulance came. And he even lifted all the bags and handed them over to the ambulance crew. That is the best bag in the best bag in Glasgow. Is that not the best best bag ever? How would you describe Denison? Three words. There you go. There's three words. My kind of town. <laughs> No parties for me this weekend. Last weekend, I went mild, and last weekend, I was drunk, drunk all weekend, so. <laughs> that was fun. Why no? Exactly. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh my god, what a handsome pair. Thank you. Oh, fantastic! Great. Right, how can you describe Denison in three words without swearing? <laughs> <laughs> Two of my favourite customers uh, from the shop. Let me see them. <laughs> How would you? <laughs> right, David. Describe Denison to us without swearing. Uh, well, I've been here for 20 years now, and Denison is, is on the up nowadays. Absolutely. And. Uh, uh, you couldn't meet kind of people. I mean, if I was to say to you, we could give me five pounds. You go right into your pocket and you could pretend. <laughs>